Hey everybody, welcome back to Tomb Raider. We uh, just fought off two jaguars in this area. Managed to kill one, and the other one took it away, which was pretty intense. We're looking for Jonah. People have pointed out that this is an old outfit that we chose, and not only changed the outfit, but it changed the model to the old version, which is why some of the cutscenes look a bit weird. So as soon as we can, we'll switch this back to a more recent one, and uh, keep trucking. Let's see if we can find him. Looks like that's probably where we need to go. Not much else happening in here. Thankfully. Oh, hello. That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! What is this? I get what it is. <laughs> Maybe not the question I should be asking. Poor guy. I can't even use him for anything. Is that something I can reach? Oh, here, we've got the white markings again. Ah, it's so subtle, I love it. Where's this taking us? There we go. Oh, he is here. I thought I got you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. You're right, though. The old, quote unquote, the arm? skin. Uh, some sort of parasite. It does degrade what she would look like now, so. Wood. But I kind of feel bad that here. we switched it, Let but... Me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. <sighs> you sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> I'm with you. It's my choice, most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> oh. Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Or a zip Eli. code. No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli.
Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. Okay, here we go. So we can actually switch this back right away. Especially after Miguel. Crafting upgrade. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. <laughs> yeah, we should probably we tell him. We have to stay sharp if we're going to get ahead of Trinity. So we've got the bow available, the melee, and then the knives if we want. We have a makeshift knife. We have this. I guess we could upgrade in here. All right, what do we have? So we have a couple of slots. We don't really have the necessary resources, but this is a cool way of breaking this down, actually. Kind of shows what's available. Okay. In terms of outfits, we're going to go back to current. This one, I think, is fine. Yeah, cool. It definitely looks way better. And then in terms of skills, I think there was something over here. Reduce damage from falling, visual assistance when aiming at an enemy's head, increase precision by holding charged shots for a longer time. There's so many good ones. Automatically loot enemies when killed by stealth. Yeah, let's grab this. All right. When I had originally changed the, um, the outfit, I thought that it was going to be just the actual outfit, not using the exact model. I thought the old games were kind of funny. It would be cool to, like, um, to see that model in here, but I didn't think the others would be that dramatic of a change, but it really was. Hello. We could dive in here. We've got some type of like a... Uh... You know what? Let's go. We have a little cave here I want to see. Hello. Worth it. Okay. So what is this exactly? Survival cache. Okay. We can put waypoints on for those if we want. That's handy. Man, the underwater stuff is absolutely gorgeous. Probably something worth upgrading, too, is the uh, amount of time that we can spend underwater. There was something... Oh, it was more feathers. Whoa, look at this. Explore crypts to discover their secrets. Yeah, let's do this. It's so easy to get lost in here, and like, I mean that in the best possible way. The fact that we don't have any guides is kind of nice. It's freeing. Grave marker? Within lies Rally Rimmel, friend, 1925. Hmm. There's a little more. 
So what... Okay, so we know that... We know that we're seeing something Beware. here. Oh, there, Drops okay. Ahead. Maybe we just have to have it on there for a certain period of time. So that's a little bit of a warning. The monogram reads PHF. That has to stand for Percival Harrison Fawcett. There were some things that had some additional Every secrets on them, but we'll get into that at a later point. Anyone that we get as they come up, we'll definitely look at. No one's been through here in years. Wuchua. May Remax be the first voice we hear okay, in the Chua. afterlife, and may her stories comfort us. Look more artifacts to decipher proficient Kachua monoliths. <laughs> no thanks. Looks like there's only three of these, so. This skull is deformed, flatter, and longer than what we consider normal. Some people believe this is evidence the Inca were contacted by extraterrestrials, <laughs> but it's more likely the result of headbinding, a human practice of deformation so ancient it predates what? written history. How does that even work? So you can see, like, we hear those sounds, but I don't know... What triggers it to? It also has evidence okay, maybe it's like the speed at which they happen. In which a hole is carved in the skull. Trepanation. That's bizarre. Never heard of anything like that. And I'm okay if I don't ever hear it again. So that's our way out. I think this is the way out. That's not what we want. And here I thought this would be simple. <laughs> I love the idea that things like this could really exist. This side. Where do we have like a a piece that we can grab? There we go. Sarcophagus. Okay. Looks like we need to find a way to lower that. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> we need to find a way to lower that uh, quasi gate around that top area, maybe? I should be able to reach the sarcophagus now. I'll have to keep yeah, climbing. there we go. Yeah, so it looks like we have a path over here that we can get up to.
By God, we've done it. New gear. Evening Star's cape. Rumored to be worn by Queen Evening Star. Oh, hello. Okay, is this a thing I need to be worried about? Just worried that if we jump on that and it doesn't work out, then we are doomed in the worst possible way. Okay, so this is a dead end, which means likely we will have to use that. Details of ransom of Emperor Atahualpa. The heathen emperor begged for his life to be spared. He offered the Spanish crown a room of three by six varas to be filled once over with gold and twice with silver. The crown, with great and undue benevolence, accepted this offer. Within two months, the ransom had been paid. The idolater, however, could not be trusted. When the cursed plans of his general surprise attack were exposed, Atawalpa fell to his knees, begging for mercy. His fate would be decided by fair trial, as the right of any man in the Spanish Empire. He was found guilty and sentenced to die, but before the execution, he accepted the Lord and will be welcomed in the heavens above. Excerpt from an objective account of Pizarro in Peru by Ochoa Aceves. Jeez. Found guilty, sentenced to die, but before the execution, he accepted the Lord and we walked into the heavens above. Yeah, okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> That's what I was worried about. <laughs> Jeez. There we go. We'll just walk out like nothing happened. What tomb? <laughs> Jordan's gonna be like, where the hell have you been? <laughs> Let's see if we can get some real work done here. Yeah, Jonah, I've been just, like, searching the area, you know, doing a few things. No big deal. No big deal. Okay, we have three upgrades available, it says. So, grip wrap is for draw speed. Wrap string is for hold time. Or string knocks for rate of fire. I think draw speed would be pretty good. And then let's see... What this new thing is that we picked up. Oh, we actually have to craft it too. Okay, so we need that's what we need all the cloth for. Um, perception duration. Increases duration of perception herb effects. Requires Eye of the Eagle skill. Cool. What are the bird ones? Eagle feathers. Hide. And then cloth. Alright. Let's go ahead and grab... Hmm. 
Let's do this one. Reduce noise from jumps, landing, and falls. A lot of times we're going to want to be as quiet as we possibly can. We can get through here. Give me a hand. We have to get down there. We've got a small ledge to work sure with. This is a path. Come on, stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. <laughs> I tend to agree with you. <sighs> oh. 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 Almost there. Be cool. Almost there. Heard that before. <sighs> Oh, gotcha. You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. What do you this think? This is like Build Planet of the Apes scenario. It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. Bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counterweights. Maybe. This depicts the Incan god Cone. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Cone was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. He mentioned uh, counterweights we're going to have to look for. Ancient dialects increase. Now able to decipher proficient <laughs> Quechua monoliths. Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. It's probably a good idea. Okay, so we actually got... Two feathers out of that, you too, know, which we can put towards that cave. If I'd known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't your thing? Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, fair point. Okay. The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. That's, I love how these would, like, I think about the origin stories of ritual things like that, where... It's too heavy. Give me a hand. It's like, somebody did that one time somehow randomly, and then decided... If we don't do that, Nothing. we'll be okay. punished. Let's let it go, slowly. I don't think this is going to help us. Alright, let me check up top here. Is this one I can turn on my own? Hey, that did something. I think the water power is Oh, the cool. Look at that. So that controls the flow of water down here With to Eli that gone, thing. Your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. I feel a lot better already. Okay, now maybe? If we can align this. That'll fill that bucket. 
water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Lowers this. Very cool. <sighs> the bucket's leaking. Oh. oh. We'll try again. Okay, so when that's happening, I think we have this thing down here. And I'm not sure if we can connect it to this as it's passing, maybe? It'd be nice if we could stick this. That is so bizarre. Wait, where does this one go? There's a bucket down here too, isn't there? Is that it's just rocks. Oh, okay, okay. We want to come down here to link those up. That's what we want to do. Oh, <laughs> these are so cool. All right, let's go. There it is. Okay, Jonah, you can let go. That's gonna raise the other side. Let's get across. That is genius. Well done, Jonah. Well done. Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. <laughs> Way out is over here. Okay. I have the eagle. Press F4 to use the perception herbal mixture. Perception allows Lara to sense animals and natural resources throughout the environment. That's awesome. Okay, I think what we'll do is we'll take a break here. This seems like a good spot to pick up from. And uh, when we do, it we'll, looks like we'll be scouting for maybe jaguars. Uh should be we'll probably get killed but we'll see what happens wish me luck guys we'll see you soon bye for now